Welcome back to the Low Res Life. My name is Jason and we are chasing Dragon Tear. Along the way, we're looking to max the account, scoop up that Inferno Cape, and gain a couple of pets to join the journey. Ultimately, we're looking to have a little bit of fun and play the broken ass game of RuneScape that we call Leagues 4 Trailblazer Reloaded. Well, I've been at work all day, just got home, and I got this little bird here on my arm. I got this little fish here in my inventory, and I got a lot of fucking mulch pearls. Let's get some tasks completed. I almost traded in the fish before I could equip it. All right, wield the golden tench. 200 points. 200. That's actually so much points. All right, let's remove it, and now let's sell it to this dude. For an extra, I found this big fish. Extra 100 pearls. It's a deal. Exchange the golden tench. Nice. And now we trade. We buy one of each angler piece and the pearl fishing rod. We wield it for 40 points. And we wield all this for. Oh, wait. Are they both 80? They're both 80 points. Nice. Not too shabby. And uh, I actually have a CA that I could get done over at Temporos, which I think will be the last CA for Temporos. Let's check real quick. Bosses. And yeah, let's go green the CAs at Temporos real quick. At 2,500 fish chunks. That's a lot of fish chunks. Oh, the final CA of Temporos complete. Dress like you mean it. Purple. It's yours. It's yours, T2. Let's go. Get that shadow. Get that shadow. <laughs> first KC or first purple. The mage relic. Mm. Oh, my sorry body. Still pretty good, though. It's, it's not the one you wanted, but it's a good one. Ooh, that's my last uh, jewel right there. So I was thinking I don't really have any of the achievement diaries done yet. So I'm just kind of prepping some Black Knights for the Faldor diaries here. But that is also 25 million hit points XP, 200 points. Yeah, I think this week I'm going to bust out all of the uh, achievement diaries. And although I'm a bit of an Iron Man whore and I love tossing lamps on Herblore, I think at this point I'm just going to be tossing most of my lamps onto Agility. Because I just can't be asked, bro. <laughs> CBA. I think that this is long overdue. I went and I bought a bunch of Chaos Runes. I spent about, what, 4 mil, 5 mil. I went a little overboard buying a little bit more Chaos Runes than I really need. But it's time for us to ditch the Amulet of Glory, buy ourselves an Onyx, 200 points. Let's go make ourselves a brand new Amulet. Here we go. It has to happen in Edgeville because it always happens in Edgeville. Ooh, we got an extra Onyx in the bank. That's fun. I like that. Onyx amulet, unstrung. We string that bad boy. Ooh, craft an Onyx amulet. It's another 200 points. I am on the wrong spell book. God damn it. How could I fuck up this hard? All right. Ignore the change of scenery. We are now enchanting it. Oh, Amulet of Fury. Looks good, looks good. I can barely see it under my beard, but I like it. Big stat boost right there. Oh, it's early morning. I just got perfect as a back. First raid of the day. So low, low invocation. Doing what, 220? 225. I do believe, now that I'm so low, and I actually have a high mining level that this is a one down yeah perfect hit first solo rate of the day oh my goodness it's a purple my first solo purple let's go big money 220s
Ooh, it's a light bear. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Not too shabby. I'll take it. It's only, what, 40 points? Maybe 80? Yeah, 80 points. I'll take it. It's actually my new best in slot ring. I've been running this whole time without any rings because there's just nothing worthwhile. So, hell yeah. Big upgrade. I have been holding back the squirts for the past 10 minutes, dude. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to slow walk. I'm going to go take my morning shit. I'll be back. Oh, run. Of course it's a white. Well, sadly, I'm sitting here with uh, no death runes in my rune pouch. No way to pass this area of the raid. I literally just have to die and restart. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Well, I was sat here doing some diaries and I uh, figured that I might as well get that task out of the way. That right there is the hard desert diary complete. Let's go finish off the mediums and easies now. That right there is the easy diary complete. I've retrieved the camulet from Lazium and it had one charge on it to complete the medium desert diary. Now, I still need a higher thieving level to actually finish the elite desert diaries, but now that I'm here, I'm going to pick up all my lamps, and I got myself my desert amulet, which is amazing, because this is essentially my restoration pool, as far as uh, my lack of gilded leaves are concerned. Can't actually get the gilded pool, but we do have the eyelid, the eyelid statuette. Uh, we're going to be tossing all of the lamps on agility because I don't want to be asked to do any more agility with my regions being quite lacking in agility training. That was uh, two whole levels, I think. Well, I just got home from work. It's time to cash in on some points, boys. Let's go to the rewards, buy ourselves a nice little shirt and pants combo. How many points is this? It's an elite task. 200 points. That was so easy, dude. I'm not even 99. I'm 89. I need more planks. That there's the easy Karanja diary done. Okay, so I I was just at Taibo Wanai searching for a gout tuber. Start talking to this dude named Eric, and he tells me that I can have his gout tuber. Because he just got one right in front of me. How do I even fucking dig it up? Actually, he has to world hop. Or he has to wait one minute, I think, so. No biggie. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't, I don't know how to do this, bro. I've never had someone give me a gout tuber before. Oh, he just got a second one! <laughs> he just got a second one! <laughs> uh... This guy's fucking amazing. Oh, look at him go, dude. Look at him go. He gave me the gout tuber and everything. This man is my Giga Chad, dude. 80 fucking points. He's not even a viewer. He's not even one of you guys on YouTube. What are you doing? Huh? You're supposed to be giving me the gout tubers. This dude's got two of them. <laughs> guys, if you are not cooking your spider on a stick, here at the Eternal Fires in Taibo Wanai Trio. Like, what are you doing? Honestly, what are you doing? Hmm. Well, I got this noob here named Low Res UFO. Apparently, this level 3 motherfucker got Dragon Tier last tier. And he's got a Bando's pet. I'm about to beat his ass for the hard tier Karamja Diaries. This guy doesn't stand a fucking chance. Wait, I can't use grapple tipped bolts. Okay, thanks for letting me know, game. There's a 10. <laughs> Instantly dead. Bye bye, Bandos. 
And that right there is the Hard Karamja Diaries. So right now I'm out here doing a bunch of achievement diaries. It's 1 a.m. It's a couple hours after I got off work. But um swapping over to the ancient spell book because I'm gonna go burst the rest of my slayer task instead of actually doing abyssal sire. I'll just go kill normal abyssal demons. I'm hunting the pet, I'll finish sire later. This is actually something that I haven't done yet. It's the Gorok teleport. 200 points why the hell did i not do this earlier probably because i didn't get 96 magic until soul wars oh i just got a surprise little league task 25 superior slayer encounters i mean i don't need it but it always feels good to see on the ground I'm glad it's sticking above at least one mil right now. I think it was uh, drifting a little low just a few months ago. And there's the completion of our 20th task. We got ourselves 91 Slayer, so now we can get Hellhounds. I'm really looking forward to Cerberus. Uh, and we also got, what was it? 98 Magic, only one mil away from 99. Exciting. My next task is Dust Devils, and I got a double fucking superior. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I I forgot how good Bloodthirsty Slayer actually feels. Like, it feels so good to get so many superiors and these Bloodthirsty Superiors that drop you like these resource drops. Like, it It's so good. I love it. Hold on a second. I just got a dragon chain body from normal dust devils. That wasn't a superior. That wasn't a bloodthirsty. That was just a normal dust devil. Dragon chain body. Even on leagues, dude. Even on leagues. Still crazy. The big fireworks. 99 magic. 200 points. Dust Devil task completed. We got 93 Slayer out of that. Uh, I was supposed to get a task from Shaeldar before, and I got such a good task that I decided to stick with it. Slayer Master, Shaeldar, Black Dragons. Okay, well, there's a medium diary completed, and we're just going to skip that task real quick. Well, this is absolutely insane. I want you to take a look at this real quick. I just finished my last task, and I had 1,126 Slayer points. I've been skipping. I've been looking for Hellhounds. That way I can go do Cerberus. So I can get some boots. And I now only have 231 Slayer points. I have spent almost a thousand Slayer points without seeing a Hellhounds task. What's going on? I'm not gonna lie, I think actually coming to Duradel and talking to him in person changed something. Because when I was just using the gem, I was just getting blue dragons, red dragons, black dragons, calphites, lizards. And now I just got like a bunch of different stuff. I got a Jad task. I'm gonna go do the Jad task. Because I need Slayer points now. I am an absolute liar. It's 3 in the morning. I just got 99 fishing instead. I'll do Jed in the morning. I almost forgot. One last thing before bed. I went and I got 90 construction while I was at work today. Just a bunch of mahogany homes. So now I can actually build the boss layer display. Put the jar of miasma in there for another 200 points. And look at that big gaping. Good morning, everybody. I got a solid, like, what, four hours of sleep? And then I woke up and I'm back to gaming. Because we can sleep when we die. Oh, look at the cute little Santa hat on Jed. <laughs> And that right there brings us to 300 combat achievement points. I think we got a speed chaser task and denying the healers. Nice. And we got a combat achievement hard tier done. That's 400 points right there. 
That was a 600 point jab. Nice. All right, we gotta we gotta gamble the cape, right? Got to gamble the cape. Got to gamble the cape. You not lucky. Oh, I did some skipping. I finally got a Hellhounds task. It's only 76. The first KC. I didn't take any damage from melee. Got a combat task for that. And I got a leagues task for one kill. Are you good? I believe that's another two CAs right there. Ooh, and that's a elite leagues task. 100 combat achievements. This right here should be the ghost skip. Aru no more. Defeat Cerberus before she summons souls. I didn't even realize that was a league's task. That's awesome. I was just doing that for the CA. 200 points though. Let's go. Well, that's the first drop from Cerberus. A little smoldering stone action. Unfortunately, I got my first smoldering stone from normal hellhounds. Uh, and I already have the infernal pickaxe. So kind of useless to me. That there's the first actual crystal, and of course, uh, well, I guess, I guess it's the one that I need the most, right? <laughs> it's the most prevalent to my account, but just habitually, I, I see a Pegasian, I get sad. That right there was both 95 Slayer and the Eternal Crystal. One more crystal to go. There's killing Cerberus 50 times. The first duplicate. Oh, I just reset my inventory first kill back. Primordial crystal. Oh, I wish I didn't reset my envy. That would have been all of my uh, crystals in one inventory. Oh, well. Also, I died because uh, I, I clicked boss and then I went and pee, so. That's actually, I, I sacrificed my life for that Primordial Crystal. Oh, I'm excited. All the boots are done. Now we just got to kill Cerberus 300 times, and then uh, unless, I want, unless I want to pet hunt him later, we'll, uh, we'll be done with Cerberus forever. Here we are. We took the ornament kit off of the boots. We will now make them into Primordial Boots and equip them for 200 points. Another shiny. There's a CA completed. Cerberus veteran. Only one more CA to complete here at Cerb, and it is uh, just a KC task, so we're chilling. Now that I'm done with Cerberus for the time being, I decided to bust out a few more combat, or not combat achievement diaries, just normal achievement diaries, that there's the hard Lumbee diary. This right here shall bring an end to the Lumbridge Diaries, because that is 200 points for the Elite tier. Let's go get some rewards, because I'm also sitting on rewards for Karanja, and I can finish a bunch of Faldor Diaries too. Well, we got the pretty purple Explorer's Ring. Let's dump all of these lamps into Agility, because that's what I want to be spending my lamps on. Don't want to be running laps. Easy level 88 from that. Another three lamps. I got the Karamja hard gloves. Oops, I almost habitually put it into Herblore. <laughs> put all this into agility. Level 89. Sometimes you just gotta beat up the ugly fish people. That way you can get your Faldor Medium Diaries done. A little bit out of order is the Faldor Easy Diaries done. Before I go cash in these lamps, let's reach a prayer level of 30. Haven't done this yet. Alright, we got our rewards, and I only can complete the medium tier right now because I need to do... Hero's Quest before I can get the hard. Faldor Diary done, which is kind of what I really need before I start doing Giant Mole. But uh, I still haven't even done Shield of Erev. I don't have a partner for it yet. Uh, kind of hoping my buddy Tito will help me out, but he was not on last night. So we'll see. Doing a few quick chores before I head off to work. And this is one of them. Make 1,000 unfinished potions with Zahur. The solo volcanic mine method is super quick. 
it, it literally took me about half an hour to stack up 40,000 points. We're going to buy the Ultra Fertile Soil spell. And that is 200 points right there. Then we got some extra points left over. I do need a little bit of calcite. And then the rest... Uh, might as well just put it all in coal, right? Yeah. Reason I needed to buy the calcite was so I could come over here and make some enriched bones. I think it's only like an easy task. Maybe it's a medium, but I've been sitting on it for a while and I might as well get it done. So I got a lot of points to go for Dragon Tear. Gonna need to do a bunch of silly little tasks. I think I just needed more uh, of the minerals. Cause I, I don't know exactly how this works. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've just been adding and adding and adding. I'm just hoping that the progress goes up. But it was just all the way and I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, finally have I, I did it right, I guess. I don't know. I did nothing different between the first and the second time. So here now we got enriched bones. Let's wait, what? All the fossils dissolved in the process? What? Alright, third time's a fucking charm. We're going ham this time. I'm just tossing three fossils in there. We got more phosphocyte now. We're just filling this bad boy up. Praying to Jesus. Alright, that one was much quicker. Filling that bad boy up. All the way with the materials is the way to go. Give me a, yeah, at least one. Okay, all three of them that time became fossils. Let's go sacrifice these. Now I do believe it's one of these strange machines. I'll go with this little broken one first. Oh, yeah, it's the broken one. 40 points, all right. Get some more prayer points out of these too, I guess, right? There we go. Not too shabby. Took way too long, but not too bad. That right there brings us to level 90 smithing. I'm pretty much chasing just kind of base 90s right now. I don't have that much more to go. Uh, thieving is and rune crafting, but rune crafting is super easy. Like I have it banked. Um, so yeah, I'm just chasing base 90s and we can also buy ourselves. Uh, we can't buy the full smith's outfit, so I'm just going to buy the colossal blade. We'll be doing Giant's Foundry to 99 and probably beyond, so we shall just take that as a medium task and call it a day on Giant's Foundry. One of the main reasons I came to Giant's Foundry was because I failed on creating this Infernal Pickaxe earlier on. I would like to actually craft that now and wield it for an elite task. I want to be honest with you guys. The past couple days, I have barely played. I've been a little bit of a sad boy. And this time of year uh, always gives me a gnarly case of the bummers. But uh, I have gotten a little bit of progress done over the past couple days. And I'm feeling a lot better now, so we're going to be jumping into it. But uh, I, while I was AFKing, I did a lot of pyramid plunder. I got myself up to 91 thieving, and that gave me two pharaoh scepters um regardless i'd like to wield it okay wielding is not a task it's just uh using it at the necropolis but i'm gonna go do the ninth floor to both get that leagues task done and the achievement diary for deserts completed the final room of pyramid plunder like i said this is going to give us the elite Achievement diaries for desert as well as a league task. Hard task for completing room eight. And an elite task for completing the elite desert diary. Nice. Before I leave this area in the desert, I want to commune with the obelisk for 80 points. That's the uh, Pharaoh Scepter task instead of wielding it. Kind of sad because I did want to get uh, 200 points. I definitely thought it was going to be an elite task. But on top of that, we can also get ourselves a quick little 99 mining. Haha, <laughs> 200 points. 
Now that I have over level 90 thieving, I've come to pickpocket czars for a diamond, and boy do I wish I had trickster. Look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. Cutie pie. Cutie pie. This fucker, he's just rubbing it in my face, dude. I'm out here getting hurt all kinds. Oh my goodness. Look at how much XP per hour that dude's getting, too. It's crazy. Well, I'll see you with the diamond. Oh, 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 finally, dude. Oh, it took like, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. We went almost twice the drop rate. We got a whole extra thieving level out of it. We're sitting at 92 now. There we go. Finally done. Oh, I just kind of ruined that dude's spot, but it's okay. He's a trickster. He just guarantees a success every time. Regardless, uh, feels good. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right there. Uh, tomorrow is the weekend, so that's when we're going to be doing all of our PVM. We'll finish off 99 Slayer. We'll do a lot more raids. I'm hoping to get at least a couple pieces, if not the full Masori set. I'm going to be sending a lot of TOA. But uh, yeah, the other goal for this weekend is to finally hit Rune tier. Uh, we're pretty close. I think that's a super reasonable goal. Uh, Rune tier, I guess that's what, 6,000 points in two days. We're going to be doing a lot of PVM, so I, th I think we could do it. That's the goal. I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Appreciate you. Please like and subscribe, all the YouTube things. See you later.